select your character. everybody and today we're talking about Guilty Gear XXX and Core Plus. It's a mouthful. G-G-A-C-X-X Plus. Reloaded I think. There's there's a lot of title there. Yeah, Guilty Gear XXX and Core Plus Reloaded. It's a lot of stuff. So it's an old school, well somewhat old school uh, Japanese fighting game. Um, I love it. I love Guilty Gear. The Guilty Gear, this particular Guilty Gear is uh, actually, I believe, uh, the best one, in my opinion, my personal opinion. Uh, the the various XR games are good. They're very good, actually. Uh, mechanically, they're probably better than this one, but I think that this one has has very solid, very strong mechanics and a better selection of characters, a bigger selection of characters. There's a lot of very good and interesting characters to choose from. You'll see the uh, gameplay is more or less kind of fumbling my way through the arcade with Zappa, one of the more interesting characters to play in this game, and I don't believe he's in any of the X-Art games. I haven't played them since the first one came out, so I could be out of date on that. I'll have to be. I'll have to pick one up at some point. We'll probably do a video on it. So this is our our first look at any fighting games on the channel. Um, spoiler alert: I do enjoy fighting games. Uh, I play with the controller, the gamepad, if you will, um, Xbox controller. So it's comfortable for me there. I don't know the key bindings well enough to attempt to play it on a keyboard. I'm sure that it's uh, not only doable. But I'm sure that there are ways to find ways to focus in, become like extremely good with the keyboard. I'm sure that there's plenty of, of precision advantages for button presses and such that can be had with a keyboard. So, I, I mean, I can imagine people treating the keyboard kind of like a fight stick. And fight sticks are like, you know, for some people, that's the cream of the crowd. That's the way to play. You know. You, fuck are you doing playing with anything other than a fight stick bro but i don't have a fight stick nor do i have the money to just buy a fight stick so you know we'll be sticking with the xbox controller the xbox controller is fine so for our purposes anyway it is so uh yeah yeah how how has this game aged how old is this game i'm sure there's several questions uh the game's aged incredibly well uh, it's only from 2015 though, so it's like not even that old. This particular variant anyway. Um, the Guilty Gear XX franchise goes all the way back to the PS2 though. And the mechanics haven't changed all too much in its entire lifetime. So, playing this is more or less just a polished, nicer version of playing the old Guilty Gear XX on PlayStation 2. Just with access to more of the characters and all that other good stuff. And I think it's all fleshed out a little bit better and the mechanics are probably smoothed out. Um, but it's more or less just like, you know, this is like the ideal version of that game. So there's uh, there's 700 re reviews for it on Steam though and it's 73% positive overall. You can pick this particular version up on Steam for 15 bucks. Um, I'm not sure it's on any modern consoles, but uh, probably is considering modern consoles are old as hell now. Uh, I don't know how online is. I don't, I don't know how playing online is with this game. Uh, I don't really do the whole online fighting games all that often. The last time I did was when Tekken 7 was new. I was pretty intent on making a lot of progress in ranked on there, and I uh, did pretty well. And I did a uh, I did a bit of uh, ranked play in Soul Calibur 6 as well, uh, but we'll talk more about those games down the line when, uh, when when the time comes to make videos on them, because I think that both of them are fantastic games that deserve a video. So, but I like I also I kind of like talking about like these these remakes and these older games and stuff like that. I really enjoy these games that have this this history about them, like 
Guilty Gear is a game that, you know, I played as a kid on the PS2, you know, and I always really enjoyed it for the, the, the character design. I've always been a huge fan of the art design, and I've always enjoyed the soundtrack. The soundtrack is phenomenal. If you don't like heavy metal at all, you'll probably disagree, but hell, honestly, even if you don't like heavy metal, you might very well still agree with me that it's a good soundtrack for this game. It fits the aesthetic, it, uh, it serves its purpose, you know, and it sounds good so there's a lot of modes there's a lot of modes you know there's your classic arcade there's like story modes you know uh, obviously training mode uh, there's a mission mode and a survival mode and I think most of those are all uh, fairly uh, usual things and then there's a, a mom mode and that's like hardcore challenges and stuff and that's uh, a lot of fun Definitely. So there's a lot to do here. Um, you know, you can play it with your friends. You can play it online. You can you can play split screen with each other. You can have a friend come over and uh, plug in a second controller, and you guys can play. Good old couch multiplayer, but like like back in the day, you know, back when I was a lad. I kind of miss the couch co-op. I don't I don't miss the split screen in most games. So a lot of games split screen was kind of garbage let's be honest with ourselves so the the story the story the story the story the story let's talk a little bit about it you know fighting games tend to have kind of hit or miss stories this one's got a lot of anime cliches which is fine you know it's an anime fighter so like what do you expect but uh to give you like to give you like the most basic surface level understanding of it is that at some point there was a conflict and this conflict was solved by the creation of hu of somewhat humanoid beings known as Gears that are incredibly powerful and all that other cliche anime fun stuff and then uh, the humans became afraid of the Gears because the Gears you know they had free will they had personalities of their own they weren't just mindless machines to be uh, controlled and the humans were afraid of that, so they, they uh, tried to eliminate all the gears. And, uh, well, it didn't really work. So, that's kind of where we're at, you know. And, of course, you know, there's a lot of fine details that can be found in this game alone that'll flesh that storyline out so much more, you know. Because there's a lot of characters that aren't exactly directly involved in the gear conflict that's going on, you know. Like, there is, like, soul bad guys directly involved. I think Kai Kisuke is, you know, Testament is a gear, so he's obviously involved in that way, whether he likes it or not. You know, but then you got dudes like Johnny and his je and May with the uh, the jellyfish pirates. They're, oh, they're just pirates. They're just kind of doing their thing, you know. Johnny's being your, your traditional anime perv guy with a whole pirate crew of, of cute girls, and May's also part of that crew, so... You know, that's all a, a thing. And then, you know, you've got, like, Milia Rage and uh, Eddie and Venom are, like, part of an assassin organization that is uh, more or less unrelated, but, like, they, uh, I think they have some degree of involvement. I'll leave that for, for you guys to dig in on, you know? I don't want to ruin that one for you. Because their their little storylines, their little storylines are very interesting, honestly. And then you got uh, like Abba or A B A. I don't know how it's intended to be pronounced, but she's seemingly unrelated, you know. And then uh, uh, who was I just thinking about? Oh, then you've got uh, Slayer. Slayer is a vampire. He's ancient, you know. The dude just he he spreads his wisdom, you know. Like generally, he meets people and challenges them to a fight, you know, and after the fight, he, he gives them wisdom. He seems to know pretty much everything that's going on, and he seems to be, for the most part, quite respected, you know. There's also Faust, who's a doctor whose uh, license to practice was revoked because he found out how to resurrect the dead, and he's also nine feet tall and wears a bag on his head. Wild. Wild characters. I love it, though. I, tr I genuinely love this game. So, mechanically, it functions a lot like a lot of these Japanese style fighting games. You know, you got your, your uh, I call it quarter circle um, uh, special move controls. 
you know, kind of like how you perform a Hadouken or whatever in Street Fighter. Uh, you've got the same general control scheme going on here, but this game also has instant kills, uh, which will just end the fight immediately if they land. Now, you sacrifice your, your special meter in order to be able to launch one of these, and they all have special requirements and for, of spacing and movement and everything else, depending on the character, each character behaves differently. You'll see, you see you'd see that I've, uh, I've dropped Zappas at least once, It'll, but uh, you gotta, you gotta meet certain requirements and actually make contact with them to work, otherwise you lose your super meter and so on and so forth. So, lots and lots to bear in mind. This is, uh, well, it's a, it's a technical fighting game. It, it has a hardcore scene. It, it's fully capable of being a hardcore, hyper-competitive fighter, you know, and it, it, it is. It really is. So, yeah. Uh, but I think we're gonna cut it there. Um, it's my first time doing a fighting game here, so hopefully, hopefully it was enjoyable. Um, hopefully you guys liked it. Feel free to, to converse about it in the comments. Maybe you're a fan of fighting games, maybe you play competitively. You know, I'd like to hear about it. And, uh, Feel free to like, comment, subscribe if you feel the need. Uh, feel free to dislike if, I, if I've earned it. And uh, remember to be kind to one another. And uh, yeah, I will fucking see you later.